This video demonstrates how to insert a point cloud and use AutoCAD tools to get geometry from that point cloud. I'll start by starting a new drawing in our AutoCAD 2023. I'm just going to use the default template. Let's say open. First stop will be setting the units. I'm going to be sure those are set to architectural. Say OK. Since we're working in 3D modeling, I want my workspace to be in 3D modeling. So take a look at the, the gear cog in the bottom right and choose 3D modeling. And I want to be sure we have uh, coordinate systems and modeling tools up at the top in the ribbon. Uh, next command is going to be called point cloud attach. This is um, where we'll navigate to where you have your RCS files saved and what we're working with is not RCP which would contain the the scan uh, location data we're just working with the RCS uh, point cloud scan system okay what I'm looking for for this exercise will be the gym <clears throat> yes the files are definitely uh, large but they'll come into the drawing fairly quickly now I like to let the point cloud insert on its own at you know, X, Y, and Z, zero coordinates. We don't need to scale anything. Relative path is fine. We don't need to specify the rotation either. I just want the point cloud to drop into the drawing and let the point cloud zoom in and say OK. Yes, that happened to be a 10 gig file, but that was a fairly quick insert. <clears throat> And it's just referencing that file as opposed to loading it natively or locally into the drawing. Now the point cloud, of course, is off rotation. Um, the XYZ coordinates or origin was set in recap, typically at the bottom corner. Uh, just to rotate the model up, you can see it's off axis. So our first step here is to rotate our point cloud and get that on a 90 degree angle. A uh, little trick I like to use is you find a straight line like the facade here and draw a line that is fairly close to that in parallel. Uh, we'll be using this as a reference line. All right, get this lined up. <clears throat> Next step is the rotate command. I'd like to select both the point cloud and the reference line. Next step is to choose the endpoint of that line. Click and turn the ortho off. We're going to be using a reference line. So type in REF or choose it in the command line below. Reference line will be the line we just drew. Pick the beginning and end of that line and notice how I have control over the point cloud. I'm going to use my use my command and I typed in 90 degrees uh, just to show that one more time I'll do an undo do the rotate command again so I was moving quickly select my point reference line and I'm typing 90 degrees is that's where I want my model to be it's either negative 90 or positive 90 either will get you to where we need to be okay now that we have our model at a 90 degree. Our first stop is using the section plane tool. I've got my point cloud selected and notice what happens to the ribbon. We have point cloud tools that appear. Uh, notice the point size currently is two. I'll take that down to one. You can go much bigger if you want the points to be larger, but I tend to you know, make it a point size of one so it's the finest uh, resolution. Level detail is 10 is fine. Second, uh, scan colors. <clears throat> Change that to intensity for more detail. In this um, case, I'm going to use the RGB or scan colors, you know, of reality. And point cloud is selected. Choose my section plane, and what I want to do with that is go from the bottom because I'm looking to draw 
a floor plan here and extract the geometry into AutoCAD lines. <clears throat> Hold the shift and orbit tool, which is the middle mouse button of the rolly wheel. Notice we have a section plane that has appeared. Usually escape one time to deselect everything and then go back into the section plane itself. Just highlight that section plane and we're going to adjust where we slice through the building. Now in this case, I'd like to be in an elevational view. <clears throat> Notice the section plane is highlighted. Notice the tools up here. We're going to change the section type to slice so we can slice through the building and notice what happens. The tool here is currently 14 inches. I'm going to stretch that out to 24 inches. <clears throat> so we're taking a slice through the building and now we're going to use the offset to move that slice down into the floor until I actually see the floor appear. And I want my section plane cut to be in the point cloud. Our goal here is to just get the floor plan. All right, that looks pretty good. Live section button over here means it's either a live section and as you're making modifications or click the live section button, you get your point cloud back. All right, my section is now live. You have a couple options. You can either generate or extract the section lines right now or what I like to do is go back to the floor plan, floor plan view. Oh, I lied. Let's go back here to elevational view. Hit escape one time. My section plane is in place, ready to go. Next up is to highlight the point cloud. Go to my point cloud manager. Get to go. Next step is section lines. This is where we're actually going to generate the section lines. <clears throat> I tend to go to about 25% or so on the slider. If you go up to, um, too high in the accuracy, it's just going to take a lot longer. Uh, but this is going to be up to you to play with to see how much geometry you get out of that. Um, you can use the current layer or generate a new one or put it onto the zero layer, your choice. And change this to something visible. You know, greens and yellows, that's fine. Minimum line length, I tend to go with an inch. <clears throat> and either you have a choice of 2D polylines or lines here. Polylines is probably fine for this exercise. We will create it. And notice the, pro the progress bar in the lower left-hand corner here. This may take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the screen recording now and not have to wait for that. Well, actually, it's going fairly quickly, and it's already done. Oh, fantastic. So let's see what we have. We go into a plan view, go to the point cloud manager, and turn off my point cloud and see what we ended up with. There we go. We've got the outside line work of our gym and our floor plan. Not bad at all. Looks like we're on our way. Always be sure to save your drawing. Call that one for now. <clears throat> and that is um, a demonstration on how to insert a point cloud and use AutoCAD tools to get the geometry from that point cloud.